Okay, now we've just done some representational art where we've done the owl and the moonlight. But for this one, we're just going to have some fun chopping up some shapes to create an abstract piece of artwork. I have absolutely no plan for this, so I'm just going to get in there, cut out some shapes. I'm going to do the bubble wrap one first. I'm going to cut out semicircle shape. Then take the cross hatching one, I'm going to cut some couple of lines. And you can just have a play around with the composition. I'm going to take the potato masher print, cut around that. Balance that on there. We have the wax. Hmm, maybe a chunk, just do a little circle. This is the wax resist and the coffee spread over the top. Put that in the middle. What else do we have? These circles are quite nice. Maybe with a triangle. Oops. Okay. So just have a little mess around looking at where to place these shapes. And when you're happy with it, get sticking. So I'm just going to grab the paper, put it on the plate and pull the paper through, paste. Again, if you don't have an old toothbrush lying around, you can use a spoon. You might have a pastry brush in the cutlery drawer that never gets used. Let's put that in there. Okay. More to stick down. Oops. This is going to be smudging a bit, but that's okay. Adds to it. You could probably do it a little bit more uh, <laughs> without so many smudges. And, and there we go, there we have it abstract piece of art. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed uh, doing this artwork from all the bits and bobs in your kitchen and using coffee as uh, a medium to do art with. I think the most important thing is to have fun, enjoy the process, take the pressure off yourself, and it doesn't matter if it looks like an owl at the end of the day, as long as you've enjoyed it. And that this workshop has given you the confidence to be able to facilitate this with others. It's been great fun for me spending this time with you. That's brilliant. Bye for now.